Hello Reshifters, this video is about portal lights in Houdini. Now what are portal lights? Portal lights are ways to actually sample the environment behind the portal light. So imagine this portal light as being like an opening or a door to another world. And you shoot a ray and the ray doesn't go into your scene, goes into the other world. Okay? And that world of course being an environment. Now, to get an environment, we need first to create a shader. So let's create a shader here. Let's call this, and you can call it whatever you want. Dive in, create an environment, connect it to the environment, and then let's get this light in. And if we render, we're gonna notice that there's something in this, or it should be something in this window, and there's nothing yet, right? And the reason there's nothing yet is because we haven't specified in global environment so we have to pick up our environment shader and now you're gonna see that there's something in this window right and that's fine the problem is well i do have a portal light in the scene and i'm gonna turn it on and it will start casting some sort of light of course the light it's a bit um off if you want because I have to rotate it and there's no direct manipulation of the environment you have to use the rotate Y so I'm just gonna use this to just you know rotate things around and I think that's good enough and I'm gonna close this close IPR for a bit and I'm gonna focus on the portal light now of I put six as an exposure, so this might be a bit too much. This is most more likely what is gonna you're gonna get. Now, the thing is, well, this is fine, and you get some sort of lighting inside, but you have to turn on GI to see more. So I'm gonna just go to global animation. I see IPC. By the way, I'm using IC IPC here because these are big flat walls with no details. Okay, and that will be really really fast. If you have a lot of detail like vegetation, I see is not the way to go, brute force it. Okay, so as you can see here, we have the light coming from uh, through the window, hitting the floor and then bouncing around a bit. I can even get this a bit bigger, but believe me, the GI bounces if you don't have enough light in your scene and these are not white walls or the light is not strong enough, you're not gonna get too much bounce. Okay, so let's increase the exposure a bit here. And you're gonna notice that, well, this starts to actually kind of behave like a proper light coming from outside and, and bouncing around. Now, let's assume you don't want that and you want to have something outside, right? And, uh, well, as I said, this is actually sampling um, the environment right behind it. And for instance, if we have, let's assume we have something like a really big geometry. Okay, and I'm gonna just uh, move this around. Okay, so I have this grid and I'm just gonna move it around here. So I'm, you know, just to obstruct that um, portal light and I'm doing this because I want to show you that even if you have geometry behind it completely but completely obstructing the actual uh, portal light well it has to the geometry has to be behind the portal light um, it will still work okay so bear with me for a second okay there you go so what you're gonna get here is the light inside the window, the, um, well, not an apartment, but inside the, uh, the interior, right? And then the light bouncing from here and going here onto this guy. And it's, uh, it's the fact that, well, the, the portal light is strong enough to do all this, right? So you might see here a bit of noise. Okay, and let me see if turning this off fixes. So, let's see. Nope. So 
it's not a matter of bouncing this on and off right this bit most likely can be from the uh, sampling although we have 416 which is the default so let's try to 1664 and 02 here this will be only anti-aliasing right so i don't want to force the samples through these unified samples sampling i want to use a sample overwrite and for the sample overwrite i want to increase this a bit more so let's try 248 see this cleans up uh, the portal light uh, nicely now uh, because i have override samples if not using the 16 here you might think that it is but it's not see this is 16 this is 2048 and i can increase it even more if i want to deal with uh, with all this but for the moment i think it's fine now Assuming you want something else in your scene, and assuming you have actually more than one portal, like this is a simple scene here, it's really not so that interesting, it's made for the principle of showing you how it's worked. But assuming you have several portal lights, you can actually do even better. You see here that you have this light shader and you can dive in and you want to do something and you can't, and that's because you have to you see here this log so all you have to do is allow editing of contents and now you'll be able to actually connect something to your environment so now i can customize the environment to my liking and you know what i can even remove the um, global environment here there you go of course this would be black for the moment Okay, there will be nothing in because well there is no environment okay so I can use this one for instance and let's get these Dutch skies whatever and um, connect it to the environment and now I'm gonna start getting something right so I can go here and actually you have there's no point in trying to to work with the light portal um, in here so just go up at the object level and modify the intensity and the shader from there because all these controls are actually uh, referenced inside the shader so let's increase this a bit and as you can see here i have some sort of environment or um, yeah an environment coming from the light portal i can even get a dome light right and it won't matter if the dome light is doing any lighting in uh, in my scene but the dome light will be a bit noisy for this but i can have the dome light for lighting the outside um, and the portal light just for the uh, interior right so i can go for uh, example this i know this is really uh, a warm light and let's see I don't want to see in the viewport and the exposure let's increase the exposure a bit and you're gonna notice it in here most likely okay so and I'm gonna also I'm gonna turn it around like some degrees there you go and this is quite strong right now so maybe dial it down a bit but you can have it let's make it stupid green right and as you can see here i have this even if i have background on right because you can have the background coming from a dome light and being visible through the portal well the portal light, through this the windows right right now i have this grid object which is not ideal but as you can see what i what you see here through the portal light through the window is the actual dome light it's not the environment my environment for the portal light it's a bit different because I just set it up here and believe me it's something else it's Dutch sky is some HDRI okay so you can have a dome light for the exterior and mm, frankly speaking the best thing to do is to actually get the portal light working only for the exterior 
okay so just gonna um, do some light linking and then uh, for the interior just use the portal lights with frankly speaking global environment here is not so great it works for all the portal lights in using but if you're using um, if you have too many lights yeah I can see why you would like to use the global environment but this allows you to actually uh, sorry I'm hitting the light dome I should be see I can have this working for uh, all the portal light but you'll have to copy this and connect it to the environment shader and then do the allow editing of contents for each portal light but this is how it works okay and this is quite uh, quite fast and I'm gonna go back to the redshift sampling override and I'm gonna dial this down to 256 and if you do a proper render a bucket render we're gonna see how this actually looks like but basically this is how it works in um, in Houdini you create this and by the way you see this noise here this noise is coming from the actual uh, dome light because I'm overwriting all the samples, so the dome light should have, well, I haven't um, light linked it to just some objects, so I'm gonna increase the dome light samples here. Ten twenty-eight, ten twenty-four, sorry. And I'm gonna uh, increase also the portal light to, uh, from 16 to 256. Okay, and let's see how what we get and uh, I think we're good on the GI side because the GI is ICIPC so it's point cloud based and yep this looks way better because the noise coming from the dome light is well it's less I have more samples on the dome light but it's not ideal in this case to just force the dome light to light everything in you have better things to do and um, Ideally, you would like to have the dome light just for interior, for exterior, and the portal lights to shine light on your interiors. So, guys, this is how portal lights work in Houdini. As always, if you have any questions, just ask them on our forum. We're there to help. Happy shooting. Cheers.